Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how you can execute Java programs on Eclipse. So you have to install Eclipse in your systems. I have already installed it and you can see the environment of Eclipse. Uh, so uh, to execute any Java program, first you have to create Java project. So click on file, then select new and select Java project. So type name of the project. I have entered Sanjay, then you have to select default option or you can uh, deselect it. So I have selected default uh, saving location. Then I am clicking on finish. So you can see at left hand side package explorer is available which is showing my project. If I click on this arrow, then SRC and Java JRE system library uh, folders are available. So in SRC folder all the source files will be available. So now I, I have to create a Java file. So I am right clicking on a Java project. Then I have to select new and then class. So you can see that source folder is available here. Then you can write any package name. I am leaving it blank right now. Then name of a, a class. So I am typing demo. Then modifier, whichever is required, you can select. Then uh, you might know uh, each class in Java has a super class which is object. So it is uh, automatically inherited in every class. Now I am clicking on finish. So you can see that demo.java uh, file is created automatically. Name of file is written at top. Then public class demo. Inside this, you can type your uh, program which you want to execute. At left hand side, you can see that in SRC folder, demo.java file is automatically created. So now I am typing main method inside demo class. So public static void main. Then inside main, I am typing system.out.println. And message will be hello Java. So uh, notice that at the top of uh, this uh, editor window, a uh, file name is written and before that uh, small asterisk is showing. So it is indicating that I have updated my file but I have not saved it. So I am pressing Ctrl S. So as I pressed Ctrl S, this asterisk is automatically removed. It means my file is completely saved inside hard disk. Second thing, if you make any mistake, so at left hand side where uh, line numbering is showing, uh, you can see a uh, cross sign which is showing that you have error in the uh, in this line. So uh, you first you have to remove this error, then your program will compile or execute. So I am uh, correcting it. Uh, it is system.out.println. So uh, Eclipse automatically shows uh, errors. Uh, along with line numbers. So again you can see asterisk is showing here. So I have to press Ctrl S again. So your program is completely saved. Now you have to compile it. So uh, friends, you don't have to compile your program because Eclipse automatically compiles your program. So you don't have to worry about compilation. As soon as you save your uh, Java file, it is automatically compiled. That's why it is showing errors uh, whenever you are typing your code. So uh, we have entered our source code. It is automatically compiled. Uh, last option we have to do is execution. So for this purpose, you can uh, click on this button, run. So as we click on this button, the output of the program will be displayed on console window, which is at bottom of your Eclipse environment. You can see the output hello java is written here so friends first you have to create java project inside java project you have to create a class then after creation of class you have to type your source code then you have to save it it is automatically compiled then uh, and converted into byte code then using play option you have to uh, execute your program and output will be displayed on console so this is small demonstration how you can execute Java programs on Eclipse environment. Thank you for watching this video. 
do practice of uh, executing program on eclipse so that you can get familiar with eclipse environment thank you